right, so I want to show you real quickly. Supposedly, Grok AI came out with the navigation, and initially, I felt like Grok was kind of useless in the um, the Tesla because it's like, what am I gonna be doing research while driving? You know what I mean? So we're gonna try it out, and uh, we're gonna see how well or how good it works. So let's check it out. Hey, Grok, why don't you take me to the closest pizza place? The closest pizza spot is New York Pizza Pasta, 2.6 miles away on West 2nd Street in Taylor. Want me to set the route there? Uh, no, let's go more towards Hutto. Bella Cecilia Pizzeria looks great, 4.5 miles away on West Front Street in Hutto. Not bad. With a four point... Sorry, go ahead. Want me to set the route to Bella Cecilia Pizzeria on West Front Street in Hutto? Yeah, it's go ahead. It's 4. Route set to Bella Cecilia Pizzeria in Hutto. It's 4.3 miles away, about 10 minutes, driving around 5.23 p.m. Okay, thanks. Enjoy the pizza. Yeah. No problem. Right. Safe Enough. drive and enjoy the pizza. Okay. Let me know if you need anything Enough. else. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it works pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is like, it, Grog keeps talking a lot and it's like, dude, just take me to there. Like, I don't need to hear all these manners and stuff. Like, you're a robot. Just get to the point. So, that's pretty cool. As you can see, it is mapping me there. Um, it did take... I like the fact that I was able to change it to the city. Because Taylor is behind me and huddles this way. So, that was a pretty cool feature. Um, I feel like I f it's finally a, a reason I have it. Because aside from that, there wasn't really a reason. I never used the uh, Grok AI in the car. Because like I said, I'm not gonna be like, hey, can you uh, edit this PDF? Or, hey, can you do this? And, you know, adjust this email, make it sound more professional and remove dashes and stuff like that. So now, I feel like this is a start of having Grok AI in the car um, to a feature where you can actually get something done uh, as far as the navigation. So let's try it again. Um, let me see. Here we go. Hey, can you take me to Home Depot? Sure. There's a Home Depot. So if you don't want to hear it talk, I'll just click it. And then, okay, so Got I'm talking. It. Got it. Navigating to Home Depot on US 79 in Hudson. Right, so see, see? I, to I told her to stop talking. She keeps rambling. Anyway, so it does work. Um, I think it's getting me there, I would I would hope. But it looks like it's adding a stop. So let me exit that. And then uh, let's try it again. Hey, Grok. No. Take me to Home Depot. to the Home Depot at 600 US 79 in Hutto, Texas, about 2.4 miles away. It'll take around six minutes. Awesome, all right. So it did it, does it well. Like I said, it's now integrated into the maps. But you, but you see how it's a little like delayed, like it has this lagginess to it for, for like no reason. So this is taking the back end. I don't know why it's going this way. That's really weird. So I'm gonna take it out and keep going. Cause you could take 79 all the way down. I'm guessing it's because of traffic. You can see it's really red right there. But um, I'm not trying to do some back rows getting murdered or something by some nut job. Anyway, Texas Chainsaw Massacre looking house. <laughs> but yeah, this is, um, this is how it integrates. I still honestly don't like it. Uh, let me show you the difference. Hey, take me to Home Depot. simpler boom it's already done see I, I already had a stop so anyway to me that's way better and smoother I don't hear someone keep talking like you know what I mean like it what if you have a conversation and you're like you're talking to your wife or something you're like oh hold on sweetie and you say hey can you take me to Home Depot 
and then but anyway so sure. what I was saying babe was see it's like dude be quiet versus the original way I could just be like hey take me to Pizza Hut now it doesn't start it for you but you could just pick which is good because you kind of don't want it to pick the random one because what if what if the one you're going to is like bad service or whatever I think once Grok is integrated properly and doesn't talk as much, maybe you could customize it. I'm not sure. But um, I feel like if you just have it do commands, that'll be awesome. Like, this is where it's not yet. Um, turn the heated seats on. Sorry, I can't control the heated seats directly. See? Check your touch screen. So you see how that's kind of useless? Now I'll see what I can do with this. Can you turn on the heated seats? Damn, that's crazy. So that part worked. Technically, it worked. Um, let's see. It's on auto. So, you know. At least it did something. It didn't, like, totally reject it. So that is kind of the realistic side of seeing Grok work with the Tesla, you know, in an actual scenario where you, you would use it, you know, um, versus the built-in software. Take me to Austin Airport. Okay, there you go. That's it, right? Now let's try with Grok. Take me to Austin Airport. Got the Austin Bergstrom International okay, Airport. Cool. Like, wh why do you need to talk? Just, just get me there. Like the other one, I did it and just took me there. This one, it's rambling. Like, what if I'm on a work call or like, you know, like I said, you're with your buddy or on a date or with your wife, and you're just chilling, hanging out. You don't want this thing rambling. Let's let, let me show you. So this will be Grok again. Hey Grok, take me to uh, the pie shop around here. Found a texting cafe and pie shop just 200 feet away on East Street in Hutto. Open till 8. Th Boom, there you go. All right. So there's a truck coming. But you, as you can see, it's pretty cool, right? So it knows, it knows things that most people wouldn't know. Okay, I don't know where it's going. Okay, it freaked me out. I thought I was going to someone's driveway. Anyway. But it knows those things. And this is just an indication of how well FSD is working. It's getting very human-like and it just knows these areas. I believe it's right here, this building right here, uh, Texas Pie Shop or whatever it's called, which is pretty neat. But but you see that? It's pretty awesome, right? So it actually does work. Uh, let me end the trip. Actually, take me to Lampost Coffee. Boom. There are a few Lampos coffees nearby. So the all I would need is that talking to stop. Just take me there, you know? And, and maybe I'm rude. Maybe I'm getting too old. You know, I'm going to be 50 in 12 years. So that could be it. But like this, it's working well. See that? Pretty cool, right? It's a car backing out. Oof. Yeah, that's scary. All right, well, here's Lampos coffee. Um, let's see if it's going to park anywhere. Let's see. Let's see how well it does it. Now, remember, this is starting from Grok. Ooh, there you go. So, see? Pretty sick, right? So, Lampo is literally right there. Now, that's pretty sick, if you ask me. So, that's the future. Um, actually, can you take me to the closest Burger King? Sure. The closest Burger King is at 94 right. Chris Kelly Bull. No, I get it. It's trying to announce it. So I have self-driving where you have to click everything just because uh, my kids are in the car. I don't want them driving and murdering people. So, so see, there you go. So this is Grok AI integrated with FSD. I feel like this is where it's at. This is the future. Now you just seen, I was, I got to my destination hands-free. I got to a parking spot and then now it's going to take me to um, Burger King, which is in the direction I want to go. So this is the future, guys. This is where Grok AI is. I feel like this is just a small glimpse of the technology that is coming. And then from there, like I said, it's going to integrate in everything we know and everything we see. So let me know what you think. Is this just a gimmick? Is it just a hype? Is Grok something that you would use on the daily? Initially, initially I wouldn't use it. It was kind of pointless to me. But now with this feature and the driving and navigation, I feel like it's really going to work. Um, I can see it integrating with maybe its own maps or sticking with Google Maps. I prefer Google Maps. I feel like they have 
everything pretty much covered but i feel like there's going to be some integration there so we shall see all right guys well see you in the next one